Hi, this is Ed Rudiger, and I am absolutely delighted that you're tuning in to another one of my devotions. This one is based on a passage from the Gospel according to John, the 15th chapter, beginning with the first verse. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts away every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit. But he trimmed clear, clinging every branch that does produce fruit, so that it will produce even more fruit. You are already clean because of what I have said to you. Stay joined to me, and I will stay joined to you. Just as a branch cannot produce fruit unless it stays joined to the vine, you cannot produce fruit unless you stay joined to me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you stay joined to me and I stay joined to you, then you will produce lots of fruit. But you cannot do anything without me. If you don't stay joined to me, you will be thrown away. You'll be like dry branches that are gathered up and burned in a fire. Stay joined to me and let my teachings become part of you. Then you can pray for whatever you want and your prayers will be answered. When you become fruitful disciples of mine, my Father will be honored. I have loved you just as my Father has loved me. So remain faithful to my love for you. If you obey me, I will keep loving you, just as my Father keeps loving me because I have obeyed him. I have told you this to make you as completely happy as I am. And here's a devotion that I entitled, Content Being Branches. As I look at, back at the mistakes I've made in the past, most of them have come from me getting my nose out of joint because I didn't get what I thought I deserved and then doing something really stupid without thinking it through. For example, almost 20 years ago I was a history teacher at a school that gave me all kinds of freedom in how I conducted my classes. And not only was I happy with the subjects that I taught, I liked both my colleagues and my students. And as a cherry on top of the Sunday, at the same time, I was working part-time in three little congregations, one within walking distance from where I lived. Life was nearly perfect, and so was my situation. But then I got mad, because I wasn't content being just a well-appreciated teacher in a system that couldn't have been better if I had designed it myself. I wanted more. And so I left that school and went to another and found myself absolutely miserable. As a matter of fact, my health crashed and I ended up leaving the, that new system in the little three churches, the area in which we lived, and even the teaching profession. Now that's what happened. And even though my family and I have had a good life after we moved, every now and then I wonder what might have been. I wish I'd been more content doing something I really loved. And I think this idea of contentment is actually the challenge that Jesus is putting before us in the passage above. The one about how Jesus is the vine and the Father is the gardener and we're the branches. You see, although we might want to see ourselves as, what, independent followers of Jesus, without needing any additional support or direction beyond what we can provide for ourselves, Man, that's not who we are. We are like branches, drawing our strength from the vine and subject to occasional pruning. Now that's our reality. And we have one job to do, and it doesn't involve being independent agents. Instead, we're here to bear fruit, something that's impossible unless we're connected to the rest of the plant. You see, although we may see ourselves as being, well, more important than we actually are, We'll only successfully do what we've been called and equipped to do when we're content being branches. Amen. Well, I uh, again, I'm glad you listened in. I hope you found the devotion meaningful. Now, I'm the pastor of a small church in a small town in northwestern Pennsylvania, Sligo Presbyterian Church in Sligo, PA. That's about 10 miles south of Clarion, right off of in Interstate 80. Now, if you're anywhere around Sligo on a Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, come on by and worship with us. Or if you're uh, hankering a Bible study, we have one every Wednesday morning at 1030. Come on by for that. And so until I talk with you again, I want you to remember that you, my friend, you are a child of God. 
and God loves you very much. Goodbye for now.